game at Sinsel Bank where Chester took the lead just after half time. Marcus Richardson used to play for Lincoln and was sent off on his return there last season. This was much more the sort of impact he'd been looking for. Chester looking good at that stage for a fourth straight win. And the chances improved further when Dean Keats was sent off for making an offensive gesture to referee Grant Hegley. Keats' second red card in four games. But it was that that inspired the fight back. The well-worn cliche about playing against ten men has seldom been proved more emphatically. Chester conceding three to them inside the last quarter of the game. Richard Logan equalising with the first goal of his loan spell from Peterborough. And within moments, they were given a penalty when Paul Mayo collided with Tom Curtis. The appeals against the decision were instant, and Chester boss Keith Curl later said he felt Curtis had merely stood his ground while Mayo had swallow-dived. The Lincoln fullback obliged from the spot, and the ten men were on their way to their first home win since September. Curl's fury was self-evident, and he was invited to watch the rest of the match in the stands, but claimed he'd merely been talking to one of his players rather than berating the official. And to make matters worse, Lincoln's Route 1 tactics yielded a third goal. Derek Asamoah, who'd once been signed by Curl at Mansfield, beating substitute keeper Ryan Brookfield to complete the victory. Chester's first defeat in seven after three straight wins. Lincoln's first win in seven. They should play with ten men more often. TV. Good goal. Then watch the fella stand straight up. <laughs> Come on, lad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the press box, you should be there as uh, under a professional capacity yeah. as well. Yeah. Is... They should find that fella and yeah. I don't know, call him names. Uh, Wickham are still unbeaten. Call and call him names. Yeah. <laughs> Wickham are.